This is how we make the moonshine. That's going to be more than 60 gallons, I feel sure, by the time yeah. we temper it up. We'll be ready to get this jarred up out the door. Today our goal is 60 gallon. Bees has got 60 souls. This legacy liquor, we cannot hang on to it. I mean, it flies out the door. Well, I'm pumped up. I noticed you look like you've been working out. I did go to the gym. We were there like 30 seconds. I'm like, dang, honey, that made my forearm cramp. <laughs> what was it, the doorknob? <laughs> yeah. We need to kind of see where we're at in this run. Yeah, that's slowing down. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's stuff that dreams are made out of. As far as grain liquor goes, this is the best that we've ever made in our career. I'm telling you, that nose sells it. And then that taste just locks it in. This is something you work a lifetime to create. Good job, man. If we keep this up, we'll be able to get our teeth fixed. <laughs> yep. I say we shut it down. We're about that point. Let's get to tempering. Look at that. So now we got to temper it up, get it jarred up, get it out the door to Bees' buyer. Find us a couple of cards of lids and I'm gonna get us a couple of rags. I can see the end of the journey. I have never seen any spirit sail the way this triple malt has. And we're jarring it up, so we are almost with money in hand. You got your location set where you're gonna meet? No, I've got to touch base with them. Matter of fact, I should do that. I'll finish this up. You know, this is a big deal for us. 60 gallon goes out the door and $10,000 comes back into our pockets. And that's astronomical. Make sure about the money. I will. Mr. Beasley, man, I wanted to talk to you. Well, look, I've got all 60 gallons jarred up for you. It'll be 10 grand. So you ready for that, yes? Well, I was wondering, is there a way you could double the order? Double the order? I've already got the 60 sold, and I got people knocking down my door and wanting more. This buyer has been with me for years, but we don't have 60 more gallons of the triple malt. So you want 120 gallons. And I'm selling this stuff like hotcakes. Uh, hang on one second, hang on. He's wanting another 60 gallons? Yeah. All right, tell him we got it. Digger, we don't have 60 gallons. You just tell him we'll be there. We'll, we'll have it, but he'll have to buy jars. Hey, you there? Yeah. I can double the order. That's 20 grand. Now look, it, it's going to be in two plastic barrels. I don't have jars for that. Is that going to work? Yes. All right, brother, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, thank you. All right, bye. So how do we have that? It's easier for me to show you than to tell you we got this piece. Have ever led you wrong? This is going to be a trek, bees. It's not at an easily accessible spot. Where are we going? Can you tell me that? I cannot. When you're under scrutiny the way we are, you just gotta keep everything on the down low as much as you can. It became evident sometime back that David Robertson is trying his best to build a case against us. What's going on, Cap? Look like it's ain't into no good today, are you? No, sir, we're not. I'm gonna tell you his boy something. I might have been born at night, but I've been born damn last night. Now, how far advanced he is in that case, I don't have any clue. Feels weird not knowing that we had that much liquor still at hand. You know, you don't put all your eggs in one basket, bees. You got to spread everything out. I get it. I get it. The next thing I know, we've crossed the state line. We're in the Carolinas going into the mountains. Yeah, enjoy the view. This is fixing to be the last sign of civilization you see for a little bit. Where we're going, it's not on any southern living tour. You just keep your mind working the way it does, and you won't remember where you're at. <laughs> I won't have to tranquilize you, but you cannot say a word. What you see up here, you know how it goes. OK. Digger, I think this is the deepest in the woods you have ever taken me. There's a Sasquatch or something. Okay. Wow. Well, I hope nobody comes out and starts shooting at us. It would not be the first time right here. It looks almost like one of those survivalist camps. I'm expecting to see them training with bayonets and 
throwing axes and writing their congressmen. The only way you can find this place most times with a helicopter. Look at this. I am nervous about this. Don't want to spook anybody. That's Kelly Williamson. You would be correct, sir. Okay. He's kind of been helping out. Right there goes 90 gallons of liquor down the road. Wow. I mean, that's more than I have, and I'm the guy that's been running it. I'll be back in a minute. Can't be good news if you're around. Well, I swore I'd stay away from up here, but I ain't got no choice. And you need 60 more. Oh. So what's going on with this, with Kelly? I can't believe he was so secretive about that. Hey, puss. Oh, my God. Here I am. That's Mark Ramsey. Holy cow. What part of staying in the truck don't you understand? <laughs> None of it. When I see my buddy, hey, man, how the heck are you? <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. We've been running liquor here for months. This liquor's too good to let up on, and we can't sell a lot of it if we don't make it. So here we are. We're big as bad as ever. Wow. Now mystery solved. Now it makes sense to me. I did step away, and uh, this is kind of what I stepped away to. With all the heat that's been on me, in order to keep everyone safe, we felt that we just simply had to keep this operation a secret. But now that it's the end of the season and we're moving out of here, you know, we finally felt that it's okay to reveal what we've been up to. We're running three times a week. Come next spring, we'll pick up somewhere else. We're making a lot of liquor triple malted grain liquor. You know, we knew with your bootlegging skills and your ability to sell mass quantities, we knew I couldn't quit. And speaking of your bootlegging abilities, I hear that you've sold 60 more gallons than you actually have. Correct. Kelly, won't you show him? Come up here, bees. You're gonna love this, baby. Holy cow, they've got over 600 gallons of the triple malt tempered, ready to go in their shed. All right, let's load this liquor, guys. Wow. Get her done. Amazing. You know, anybody that's ever made liquor on a big scale, it gets in your blood. You cannot get rid of it. It's like a disease that's incurable. So that being said, nothing short of death is going to keep Mark and Digger from running liquor. I always love seeing a truckload of liquor drive away. 